interesting discussion. 3. The discussion or presentation of understanding in this video begins with a statement as follows. All objects and everything should be someone who created or made it. So also the great and glorious universe also have a creator, i.e. the almighty powerful Lord God. Without beginning and end, and the existence from eternal to eternal, this truth is very clearly written revealed by God himself. And the certainty of safety for all people WHO believe in the Lord God Jesus Christ is also promised and guaranteed by him. The occuration or the beginning of the universe is also very clearly contained in the Bible. It is created by the Lord God and will be destroyed by God also on the day of judgment at the time of the coming of the Lord Jesus. Therefore, hope everyone can humbly believe and worship in Him, God Almighty, most loving and mercy, most fair and most life, so you can really get safety and safety. Hope promised and guaranteed by the Lord God Jesus Christ. Then person B also expressed his views as follows. You convey your understanding in capital letters, it's okay. I think it's just to make it easier because you don't have to move between lowercase and uppercase letters. I do not agree with your understanding. Actually I can ignore your understanding and forget about it. But well, maybe it's also a good idea to give each other's views a little and maybe other friends are also interested in this discussion. I really respect your belief, please live it and wish you happiness. Religions are many, so are the scriptures are many. Everyone has their own soulmate. Have a choice, want to choose which religion to embrace, after all, Six religions have been recognized by the state. The important thing is that they are able to socialize well with other religions. Able to do good, able to help each other if others have difficulties and so on. If we are not brothers in faith, we are brothers in humanity. Every object has a creator, in most instances okay. A universe made up of billions of galaxies, so how many solar systems and how many planets in Earth? We are only in one Earth that can be likened to a speck of dust, there are many other Earths. If this infinite universe was created, then the question is who created the Creator? If the Creator is without beginning and without end, I agree more that this infinite universe is also without beginning and without end, even though it is always moving and always changing according to its laws, namely the laws of nature. This universe exists, not because of one cause, but because of many causes and also because of the conditions that support it. If the conditions are not favorable, something can't happen. Example, if you harvest rice, there must be someone to plant rice, there must be land, there must be irrigation, there must be good weather or climate, not to be attacked by rats, someone must take care of it. The caretaker must have energy, have the will, must eat and drink and so on. So there is no prime cause, meaning there is no single cause, many reasons for something to happen. It doesn't really matter to me whether the universe was created or not, the reasons for what under what conditions the universe existed, and so on, doesn't matter to me. The most important thing is to respond properly and correctly to the enactment of natural law, if you want to be called God's law, you can too. Where one of the natural laws is the law of cause and effect. The law of sowing and reaping or the law of karma which should be addressed properly and correctly in order to survive in this world and survive after death. 
I do not agree that God has the intention of creating the universe and destroying it again on the day of resurrection. Why does God have such an intention? To have a job? God wants humans to worship him. Why does God have such trivial desires? All merciful. Why can anyone go to hell? Moreover, if going to hell is eternal, it's sadistic, inhumane. With all loving, all knowing, all powerful, can he not save all mankind into heaven? He said God guarantees, then where is the guarantee? God is not like that, just like humans. And creating a product fails because someone goes to hell. If go to hell because you don't obey orders, why does God play gambling like that? Isn't he omniscient? The law of nature is also omnipotent. Who can change the law of nature, one of which is the law of sowing and reaping, the law of cause and effect or the all-just law of karma? So that we are safe in this world and safe in the next world after death, then we must respond properly and correctly the application of the law of karma or God's law is also okay. That's all. Once again I respect your beliefs as well as other recognized religious beliefs in Indonesia. Each person has their own religious mate, please embrace and practice it well. Discussion or sharing this view so that we can have tolerance understand other beliefs, and also we can have broad knowledge, that's all. Let's all live in harmony, respect each other, help each other. Different is beautiful. Indonesia can be friendly with any country because Indonesia has complete color and potential. A man C responded to the two views as follows. Yes, I agree with the mother's argument. If indeed God is merciful as said by Mr. A, try to explain why so many people are still suffering. Said to be compassionate and not favoritism, what is the reality like in the world? If indeed the Lord Jesus can help, why are people still suffering? So in conclusion, we live in a world. Don't feel great about each other's religion. It's like buying a car, I like the Pajaro car, but other people don't like it, like the Fortuner. So each person has their own preferences in choosing religion. Not feeling great and right. Please think about it. Person A continues to express his own views while still using capital letters as follows. When the Lord God created humans and otherwise, actually everything was good and free defects, anything. But it's a pity they don't know gratitude, even breaching God's commandments and sin against God. That's the origin of humans' fall that caused many disabilities and negative things. Even trouble, crime and death for humanity and not because God want all things to happen. Person B responded thus. Okay, I think our thoughts and understandings are clear. Brother A, please be firm with your chosen belief and please practice it in your daily life, which is accompanied by lots of good deeds, not greedy and not hating. May brother A get the salvation. Happiness and eternal life promised and guaranteed by the Lord Jesus. Then steadily the A continued his response as follows. Thank you for the blessings you give me. May you also be given by the Lord Jesus safety, peace, happy and glory eternal life in heaven. Very happy to be friends and discuss with you an intellectual and knowledge logically and rational about things that may be useful for other friends as you say in the comment. Person B understands Person A's thoughts and understanding by not continuing the discussion. Discussion over. So this video, hopefully useful 
to those of you who watch this video. Thank you very much. See you again in another video on the channel. On YouTube. May you be healthy, live long, happy, lots of luck, love to do good, and eager to live life with a peaceful and peaceful heart. Peace be upon you.